This is a review for Schmidt's Natural Deodorant. What I've got on camera is the Cedarwood and Juniper scent. You can find this on Amazon for right around $10, although at time of recording there is about a 40% sale, which would put this closer to $6. This is primarily marketed as an aluminum-free deodorant. If you don't know already, many big deodorant and antiperspirant brands use aluminum as a key ingredient. I personally am not up to snuff on the science or clinical study behind this, but there are people who are scared to death of using aluminum deodorant. So here we are. The other key points are certified vegan friendly, cruelty free, and gluten free. Although to be clear, I have no idea by which entity this certification is granted. Along with being aluminum free, it's also free of propylene glycol and phthalates. If you're curious, Schmidt's deodorant is manufactured in Canada. It says in huge letters on the lid, the formula is enriched by magnesium, just so you're aware. Okay, so should you buy? Honestly, I think so. Up until trying this product, I had been using a host of different deodorant brands for my entire life, ranging from Gillette to Old Spice. They all work fine as far as deodorant and antiperspirants go, but recently a friend of mine voiced their concern that there are potentially adverse effects of applying aluminum to your bare skin every day for your entire life. Personally, I know there isn't inherently any problem with aluminum unless scrutinous clinical trials and peer-reviewed academic studies suggest so. And while I haven't consumed any of that material, I have to say the idea of swapping out the aluminum in my deodorant with plant-based compounds sure sounds and feels a lot better, as hand-wavy as that is. Anyway, the big question everyone wants the answer to is whether or not these quote, natural deodorants actually work. Sure, saving the planet and yourself is great, but does the product actually serve its advertised function? People complain all the time that natural deodorants don't actually suppress your natural odors, and you will in fact stay stinky. I think Schmitz works. At least it's no worse than any other deodorant brand. Heavy disclaimer, maybe that's just me. I don't think I'm a super heavy sweater, although I'll say that even using big brands like Old Spice, I'll sometimes get sweaty pits. Maybe most importantly, I don't experience any body odor when I use Schmitz. The smell is very fresh and pleasant, and at the same time very low-key and not in your face. You won't smell like your deodorant. It's just kind of an enjoyable moment when you pop off the cap, but you really have to stick your nose in it to smell anything. One other comment is that the deodorant feels very dry. If you're used to big brands, I think you'll be a little shocked when you first try to spread this on your pits. It's going to feel very high friction and a little difficult at first to feel like you've gotten a good application. But after a few days, it felt more natural for me. Also, another random thought, you definitely don't need to buy Schmitz to get natural deodorant. There are plenty of other brands, and in fact, if all you care about is aluminum-free, you can actually use some mainstream products. I took a closer look at my Old Spice, and I was surprised to find it didn't actually use aluminum. Now to be fair, there are tons of other crazy chemicals in Old Spice, so something like Schmitz is still a fantastic natural option. Again, I think this is an all-around good choice for your next deodorant. I think that's just about all there is to say about this product. I'm thoroughly satisfied with my purchase and I would recommend this to anyone. Please let me know if I can improve these videos in any way. Like and comment below with any questions, I'm more than happy to help, and I'm sure I missed something. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Tell me it's good, tell me it's gold, tell me you like breaking the mold. Tell me it's good, tell me it's gold, tell me you like breaking the mold. Drawing on a canvas, making us an atlas. If you want to tap in, we can find Atlantis. I've been on my real shit. Trying to find my